What is up everybody? Welcome back to Aim for Movies. Well, this is uh, part one of my uh, two-part series here. Uh, just going over a 4K and Blu-ray update specifically for uh, Marvel comic uh, adaptations. Uh, and then my part two will be covering the DC comics. Uh, so this is anything that they've released uh, even before MCU or or post MCU and some of that or kind of yeah so basically uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the Blu-rays for first and then the 4K's they're all going to be uh, pretty much alphabetical order um, and uh, I don't have any slipcovers uh, none of my collection is slipcovers uh, so you're just going to have to you're just going to have to deal with that and uh, yeah I'm also going to include uh, a, a, a few movie adaptations uh, from Icon Comics and Malibu Comics because those are uh, pretty much owned by Marvel Comics. So let's get started with the Blu-rays. Alright, first of all we have a trilogy here uh, for Blade. So we have Blade 1, Blade 2, and Blade Trinity. I won't be going over any uh, re uh, reviews or, or or ratings in this video. Just just show them off. Uh, don't ask for any codes because most likely they don't exist. All right. So Daredevil, the director's cut. I also have from 2005, Fantastic Four, and. Fantastic Four: Rise of the Silver Surfer, and then of course I'm a, I'm a, I'm a completist, but I'm not gonna watch this movie like all the time. But I have Van Four Stick. All right, and then we have a double collection here of Ghost Rider: The Extended Cut and Ghost Rider: Spirit of Vengeance. We have one of the very first. Marvel movies ever from 1986 and that is Howard the Duck. Punisher War Zone. The second of the Wolverine movies, The Wolverine. Definitely needs a 4K. And then we have X-Men Days of Future Past, The Rogue Cut. And then this one definitely needs a 4K too. I wouldn't mind buying it on 4K. Uh, and that is X-Men Origins Wolverine. Alright, now we are going to get into um, 4Ks here. Not too many people know that this is actually a uh, Marvel comic. Uh, mag, uh, a manga uh, comic. That is Big Hero 6. We have Ann Lee's Hulk. Getting into some Spider-Man here. I have, I bought this uh, last year. This is two Steelbooks uh, for the 4K edition. It includes uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, uh, Amazing Spider-Man, and Amazing Spider-Man 2. Then we got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Venom. Alright, now the X-Men titles here. We have the three-pack for uh, X-Men, X-Men 2, or X2, and X-Men The Last Stand. X-Men First Class. X-Men Days of Future Pass, X-Men Apocalypse, Logan, X-Men Dark Phoenix, we also have the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Deadpool, and Deadpool 2. All right. Now 
Now let's get into the bread and butter of any Marvel fans uh, collection. And that is from the MCU. Iron Man. Incredible Hulk. Iron Man 2. Captain America the First Avenger. Thor. The Avengers. Iron Man 3. Thor the Dark World. Captain America the First Avenger. Guardians of the Galaxy. The Avengers Age of Ultron. Ant-Man. Captain America Civil War. Doctor Strange. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Spider-Man Far From Home. The Best Buy exclusive still book for Thor Ragnarok. Best Buy exclusive still book for Black Panther. The Avengers Infinity War. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Captain Marvel. Infinity War. Uh, <laughs> Avengers Endgame. And Spider-Man Far From Home. Alright, and then the last bundle here is going to be uh, all 4K. There's one, there's one Blu-ray. Uh, so these ones here are from Icon Comics. And that is the 4K edition of Kick-Ass. Yes, Marvel does own Kick-Ass. And then the Blu-ray version of Kick-Ass 2. That definitely needs a 4K. All right, and then we have also from Icon Comics is Keensman. So we have Keensman, uh, the uh, Secret Service, and Keensman, the Golden Circle. And then from Malibu Comics, believe it or not, Marvel also owns the Men in Black movies. Uh, so we have the Men in Black trilogy right here. And that includes uh, the first Men in Black, Men in Black 2, and Men in Black 3. And then, of course, Men in Black International. So there you go. There is my Marvel collection as of right now. Uh, I know I'm missing, uh, like, Elektra and I think, like... A couple of the Punisher movies and stuff like that, but but uh, but that's fine. I'll get them. I'll get them eventually. So, want to thank everybody for watching this video, and uh, to go ahead and just subscribe, like, and comment. Comment down below. Uh, what are some of your favorite uh, Marvel comics adaptations? Uh, some of my favorites, just off the top of my head, um, for MCU, of course, Avengers: Endgame, Avengers: Infinity War, Black Panther. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and then I also like uh, from from some of the other ones uh, would be like X2, Spider-Man 2. Um, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much like the standouts for me. Um, Kick-Ass is great, uh, but that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you uh, in for part two. Uh, for all you DC lovers. So, alright. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.